Hello everybody, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube. Welcome back to the, my Hawaii Warriors Dynasty here on NCAA 12. Yeah, been a while since I've done it. We are pretty much most, almost more than halfway through our second season of this series. We got, we got, we got a couple of back-to-back -back buys. Then we got Idaho. Your last episode, if I could remember, as Hawaii does dismantle, although Kansas, like, we're, look, the first quarter looked like we're going to get our second straight loss. But our Hawaii defense, I don't know how they offense, don't know how, but we kept the Jayhawks. That's kept the Jayhawks. They're just 16 points. Only giving them only one touchdown. There you see, we have mo three more first. Let's see, only two interceptions. Two times we got intercepted, which is kind of unfortunate. They made one more penalty than us, thank goodness. And there you see their stats. There you see, also went 15 for 37 with those three touchdowns plus. So he's the only reason why we got two interceptions, but he'll probably get better. And unfortunately, Hawaii, this roster is so awful. I mean, take a look at our... T take a look at our roster. Take a look. Yeah, your best player is our punter. Well, our quarterback is a 76. Wait, more info on this guy. Let's see. Yeah, take a look. You only threw... One touchdown last season alone. So I don't, this guy doesn't think, he, I think our playing styles are very different. Oh, however, our halfback, Jerry Cole, is perfect for this situation. Wait, do we have any backup quarterbacks? Yeah, we got James Robinson and a couple of freshmen, including Steve Lemon. As we take a look at our injuries, as you can see, we are fine on the injuries, which is good. So we're two wins away from getting bowl eligible here. Before we continue on, I think it's only fair that we skip the recruiting because guess what? I think in the last episode, if I can remember... Uh, oh, we got a... Edward Ostrander is a soft commit to Hawaii. Let's see if he can try and seal the deal here. And stop Washington from getting him. No red shirt. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Program tradition. Oh. Okay, why is everybody... Okay, let's see. Seal the deal. Nope. Got 211. Not too bad. So we're if he doesn't commit, well, that's pretty much it for the recruiting for this episode. This is just going to be one of those slow seasons. Oh, by the way, hang on. Does the... No, we, it doesn't have it. The uh, championship thing was added next year's game. I forgot. Once we got back to back by, so we gotta do more recruiting in this one, so. And don't worry. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Wait, stop, 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 stop. And, oh good, my battery is low. Just when we need it. See, when it gets to two for me, that's when it's time for me to switch the batteries. Which means, at the end of this recording session, I'm going to head downstairs and change the batteries. And also, next is the the second, the season two premiere of my old Dominion Dynasty series. Yeah, I know you guys are looking forward to that. So as we take a look at the, sk the scores from the last game, which we're going to show that off in the next episode. Okay, jeez, thank you, game. Thank you. And wait, did Notre Dame... Oh, they crushed North Texas. Let's see. You guys can pause the video to see 
what are your favorite, how are your favorite teams did, including the UCF Marshall game that went at Marshall won by one. I am very surprised at that. Red River rivalry, Oklahoma cr crushed that. And speaking of blowouts, look at this one: Mississippi State crushed New Mexico State. Well, gee, I wonder. And speaking of blowouts, um, yeah, no okay, well, Jeez, every time it does, it it does that. Jeez. BYU, what's, where did Iowa State come from? Why is BYU so terrible? Hang on, let's take a look at the schedule. Oh, wait, we can't do that yet. Let's see. Oh, General Sherman's pit. By the way, we are going to get to a Winston Cost and General Sherman today. Finally. And look at this, we got an upset. Looks like Washington State trolled Stafford. Let's see. Okay. I say an oak. Wow, UAB is doing very terrible. Can we see a return to UAB? Hint, hint. Let's see an chief remote. Stop it. Controller, stop it. And wow, pitch has crossed Louisville. Where's Teddy Bridgewater? And speaking of an almost upset, if Penn State had enough time, it, if, if, if Penn State ha first quarter was good, they would have upset Ohio State. But a valiant effort by by the Bucks, by the uh, Nittany Lions, and okay, controller, jeez. Let's see, Missouri beat, why is Missouri 4-1, and one? I don't know. And speaking of, here we have a, sh a blowout shutout here, 48 nothing. Okay, 29 okay, by the way, hopefully we get a rematch with Washington in this one. And wow, uh, close call, and that went in overtime, jeez, so, let's, pr Let's see. Western Michigan beat Buffalo. Northern Illinois beat Toledo. Oh, this is this isn't one of those games that should have gone overtime. A controller. Let's see. Okay. Wow and wow for Texas Tech's four and one. Not too bad. So that man Car Von Karma's very happy about that. Let's see. Arch rivalry. Why do seven? Troy crushed them. Speaking of blow, another blowout, 45-3, as the Raging Kings get blown out by Bulls. Now, wow, uh, Navy barely made it past San Jose State. Jeez. And Auburn just beat Arkansas. They're 4-1 as well. Uh, controller. Okay, that's making me want to change it right now, but I'm not doing that because I oh, have lack of video time. Michigan State, Michigan crushed Minnesota. Iowa, Nevada, this, okay, do I even have to explain it? This is basically the Super Bowl. Well, thank goodness we're nearly done. Let's see. Wow, good job, UCLA. Way to crush Utah. Okay. And that is it. So, we're going to take a look at the top 25 and controller. Okay, never mind. As apparently TCU jumped in the poll, and you can see the top six is still the top. The top three is still the same, although number four lost. Who was it? Oh! So Utah, Miami, North Carolina, and Texas A&M dropped to give them a round of applause. Wait, what happened to the number four team ranked team in the nation? Oh, they're right there. Go figure. Now it is time for the Heisman watch, and let's see where everyone is. And as you can see, everything is still at play. It's even Steve Leach is, Steve Leach and Kyle Gilmore are on the rise. Now it's time for the players of the week: Edgar Arnold and Mike Jenkins. Let's take a look at the whack. Roland Dirt and Mike Dawson. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude it for this episode. I'll be back. We'll tap it in a few minutes, so I can. Change the bloody controller, and then we can actually get to some gameplay. What do you guys say? Alright, see you guys later.